cities like dreams are made of desires and fears even if the thread of their discourse is secret their rules are absurd their perspectives deceitful and everything conceals something else thus stated italo calvino in his immortal literary work invisible cities if there's one film from contemporary indian cinema that embraces this philosophy imbibes the ideas into images and then presents itself into celluloid to capture the pulse of a city it has to be Aditya Vikram Sen Gupta's Once Upon a Time in Calcutta. Aditya's film is a stunning tribute to his city. Its past and present and transition where most of us Calcuttans are stuck. It captures the dreams and fears, secrets and deceits of the city of joy like hardly before. As all the characters we watch are moving pieces of the city itself in its varied shades. Once Upon a Time in Calcutta is the finest Bengali film we have watched in recent times. A standout effort that needs to be lauded for its art, craft, politics and emotions and that too in the most accessible way. We feel so elated even talking about this film. A film about our city, a contemporary Bangla film that we would want the world to watch. We understand that so many of you are waiting for the release of the film and as advised by Aditya himself it might not be too long before we have a release so a little more patience and in the meantime here we talk about Once Upon a Time in Calcutta the fascinating new feature by director Aditya Vikram Sen Gupta Kolkata is a city that can neither afford its past nor live in its present and almost every frame of once upon a time in Calcutta captures this existential turmoil it starts in the title itself where aditya calls the city by its old name as if talking about some incident in its past while presenting the idiosyncrasies in the daily lives of the present day residents of kolkata ila played by srilekha mitra in a career best performance is our primary protagonist a former tv actress and ambassador of a ponzi scheme agency now that is involved in multiple business lines in her personal life ila is grieving the loss of her kid is estranged from her husband shishir and pursuing a flat of her own in the city as if in a token compensation to herself for everything she has lost this far her half brother babu bratto boshu in a jaw dropping act lives alone behind latched doors of their family house that extends to a huge theater hall one of the many non-functional art spaces that the city retains babu lives in nostalgia a common thread that binds old calcutans lost in his memories of the old glory of the theater hall and still sulking over his father's infidelity his relation with ila's mother a cabaret dancer who performed at the same place Babu is still not in terms with Ila has been blocking her rights to her father's property the family house while Ila fights for her shares as amicably as possible the two characters siblings connected through a past that involve art romance as well as heartbreak resembles the adjacent facets of Kolkata the nostalgic inertia that never lets things to change and the superficial changes that hardly does any good Bratto is like the old science city dinosaur statue a signature of Kolkata that has been removed to make way for the new city flyover while Ila resembles that flyover that replaces the dinosaur as an apparent emblem of progress but one that is to fall down soon thanks to its compromised constructions around Ila and Babu there's other characters with their own intertwined tales pushing through each day in a ruthless ecosystem that they themselves nourish There's Bhaskar, Ila's lover from the past, the engineer in charge of the flyover construction. There's Pradipto, the main man behind the Ponzi scheme company, also involved in a raw material supply for the same construction. Two very different men, an upright officer and one shrewd opportunist, who both desire Ila and are both entrusted with the future and safety of the city. In their contrast and compromises, Aditya paints a city that lacks fresh inspiration to thrive on, and a support system to cling to as we watch Ila, failed by both men, struggling for a shelter. 
the man who genuinely cares for Ela lies in her past. She shares her husband with whom her connection is broken but the comfort remains. We do not know why. Perhaps it is the weight of the ailing kid in between who is no more as it appears in the very first frames of the film. Red flames of fire from the funeral. It reminds of the starting frames of another film on Calcutta, Pratidwandi, the first of Ray's Calcutta trilogy. It was a grieving son in Pratidwandi. Here, it's a grieving mother. It was a man struggling to adjust himself to a changing city in the Ray masterpiece. And in Once Upon a Time in Calcutta, where motherhood runs as a recurring threat, the city itself has lost touch with its sons and daughters. And then there's Raja, played by an effortless Shyok Roy in his debut film. the son of babu's caretaker in the family house he is also the cash collector of the same ponzi scheme that ila works for we watch raja counting notes from various clients all of whom entrust him with their meager savings for a slightly better future one has to look at their faces when raja counts the notes watch for the paper and plastic covers put on the thin bundles of treasure that they hand over with doubts doubts which will eventuate into reality as the city will soon face one of the biggest financial scams in the recent past raja is in pursuit of his own dreams a happy life with his girlfriend pinky we watch the couple sitting in eco park weaving their fantasies while miniature replicas of the wonders of the world surround them palpable dreams breeding within the superficial incitements aditya's film keeps on hinting at this paradoxical existence through similar magnetic visuals and here lies the brilliance of once upon a time in calcutta like his two previous features aditya vikram shengupto communicates through images visuals that stay beyond their screen life be it bhaskar standing in front of the grounded dinosaur as if relishing a sense of victory be it ila emerging like a diva from the smoke of mosquito repellent or be it raja getting his shirt smeared in the white and blue paint that masquerades the city Once upon a time in Calcutta is a treat for your eyes a film that stimulates your brains and melts your heart dialogues get lost in these images they are hardly needed anyway as renowned cinematographer Gokhan Tiryaki a regular collaborator of Turkish master Nuri Bilge Selen captures Calcutta as a dystopian city that's gradually fading away at its core while its lurking shadows emerge And by the time the amazing end shot comes up as the past and the present merge you feel like Kolkata is whispering in your ears the inferno of the living is not something that will be if there is one it is what is already here the inferno where we live every day that we form by being together the casting of the film is fascinating adding meta layers to the entire premise Srilekha was perhaps born for playing Ela She has grown into Ela in her own living. The character's vulnerability oozes out of her eyes. The unyielding spirits reflect in each posture. One cannot thank Aditya enough for giving the veteran actor her due in this role of a lifetime. Bratto is jaw-droppingly great as we mentioned earlier. His scenes inside the dilapidated house haunts and give you goosebumps. Rikita Nundini Shimu, the amazing actor from Bangladesh playing Pinky, feels like an extension of a characters from Rubaiyat Hussain features under construction and made in Bangladesh as she connects us to the other Bengal. And when we find Anirban Chakraborty's familiar bald head covered in a flowing wig, it gives the exact vibe that his character Pradipto speaks for. A cheap facade. The relationship with Kolkata is similar to one you have with your parents. We have heard Aditya say in an interview, "You can't be with parents for all, but at the same time they give you a sense of comfort." It is this layered fabric of emotions that his film takes us through, and with Tridip Shengupto, Aditya's father, also a part of the cast, the meta layers extend further. Jejon ache mach khane, the one in between, is the often quoted line from a Tagore song. and this film captures kolkata and its people in that eternal limbo most interestingly tagore himself becomes a part of this suspended existence as we find busts of the poet being manufactured in factories and his songs played over crude tunes the past which we cannot let go but fail to understand and the present that is too superficial to build upon keep on coming back in the film You take delight not in a city seven or seventy wonders, but in the answer it gives to a question of yours," says Calvino in Invisible Cities. Aditya puts up that question through his film about the city he loves and hates and loves. 
That is all from us today. We need your support through more likes, shares and subscriptions so that the motivation goes on and we can bring you more content like this. Thank you for watching.